What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the people playing Battlefield 2042 and how after its free weekend on PC, the player count is still very strong. This is something that is pretty impressive considering Battlefield 2042 had a very rocky start. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now, when Battlefield 2042 launched, a lot of people were kind of disappointed with the game. And it was kind of a surprise, in my opinion, considering DICE usually makes really good Battlefield games. And also, it wasn't really good for the franchise in general. Over the last several installments, people have not been really happy with the Battlefield games. But the bad thing is, Battlefield's not a game that comes out yearly. It's every couple years. Every two to three years, we'll get a new Battlefield game. And with kind of a... Uh, disappointing launch i think a lot of people figure battlefield may just kind of die off battlefield may be something that is not going to be made permanently anymore that was always the discussion or was a big discussion to begin with that people were talking about the battlefield is just done dice is going to have to you know move on or ea is going to hire someone else to make it but battlefield 2042 has had a lot of good updates since release and the player count has kind of risen and fallen over that time but this past weekend, um, we did have a free weekend on Steam, and Battlefield set a new record for concurrent players on Steam. And that is a pretty impressive benchmark, considering the game's been out for a really long time. It had a peak uh, concurrent player count of 105,697 users on Steam. So this is going to be just strictly PC numbers. And the game is still on a very deep discount until October the 26th on Steam, so... There's a lot of those players that played during that free weekend picking up the game now. The other thing is, of course, you don't really know exactly what's going on on the console side. You're not sure exactly how many people are playing on Xbox and PlayStation. We don't really have a way to keep up with those numbers like you would with Steam charts. But, of course, you can get the game you know, on Xbox and PlayStation for you know pretty deep discounts. It's been on sale for a while. Uh, it was in the monthly free games at one point for PlayStation. So... There is a lot of, you know, players playing the game just in general. I think the console player base kind of picked up a while back. And now it seems like the PC player base is picking up even more. So, kind of what I'm seeing here is people are finally getting interested in the game because of all of the updates, the free weekends. People are starting to play again and have, you know, been away from the game for a while. You know, I haven't played Battlefield really uh, since Season 4. Season 5 was okay. I didn't play a lot then, so I, mean, I took a good, you know, kind of period off there during uh, Season 5. But I have been playing some in Season 6. The new map is enjoyable. Kind of reminds me of something, you know, like Operation Metro, that infantry-only style. But overall, the game has improved a good bit. Will it continue to prove? Will it uh, improve? Will it continue to see, you know... Uh, the player base at this high of, uh, of a count on, on PC and we'll continue to see, you know, a lot of console players playing. We'll kind of have to just wait. Uh, that's not anything that we know we really can predict right now. I think that season six was good for the game. Uh, you know, like I said, with that new map, the new weapons, uh, everything they kind of brought into, I guess, really each season to improve it since the launch of the game. But my only issue is that season six is uh, right now, if you look, last for almost 100 days so the once the season released it was around 100 days in length which makes me wonder is there going to be a season 7 in battlefield 2042 or is it getting time for dice to announce the next battlefield game i think a lot of people kind of assume that ea is going to announce another battlefield game you know probably with you know dice being the company uh, that's going to make it because that's always been who's made those battlefield games for them and of course there's lots of different divisions of dice nowadays so not sure exactly what team could be working on that, but I think overall uh, it's really good for the game to see this increase in players. And is it going to be something that DICE is going to continue to work on this game? Will they continue to work on Battlefield 2042 uh, once the hype of Season 6 kind of dies off? And of course, you know, the game being discounted, will the game go back to having less and less players? And I will say, even in the new... Uh, in the new map over the last couple nights that I've played. It is only 32 on 32, which I think a lot of people like. I think a lot of people were not big fans of the 64 on 64. 
but I've even seen a couple of AI players when I load into the game. It's not like the lobby is completely full every time you get into a game. Uh, though, you know, we uh, players on each side, enough to almost fill up the lobby. You'll see 25, 26, 27. But just about every game I've got in, there has been a couple of AI players. Now, if people leave and kind of back out and come in and back out and come in, that's kind of to be expected. The game just automatically fills in uh, those gaps with, you know, the AI. But overall, it kind of makes me feel like the player base may be dropping off now already since the free-to-play weekend is over. And probably not everyone is going to be purchasing the game, whether they play on console or they play on PC, even though that it is a pretty de uh, deep discount. The other issue I have kind of going forward is if, if Modern Warfare, and that's a big if, Modern Warfare 3 does well, a lot of Battlefield fans like Ground War in, uh, in Call of Duty now. So that may hurt the player base going forward as well here in the next couple of weeks. We're going to have to wait and see. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about Battlefield 2042 right now if you've been playing. Like I said, I have been playing a little bit uh, since Season 6 came out. It has been a very enjoyable, uh, been a very enjoyable experience. But at the same time, I'm still kind of skeptical exactly what's going to happen with the game going forward. Hopefully it will be some good content and DICE will continue to support the game until they decide what they're doing for their next Battlefield installment. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.